Okay, so I figured that I'm going to use sine because I have the angle, I have the opposite side, which is what I'm trying to figure out, and I've got the hypotenuse. The other formula, um, you've got the angle and the hypotenuse, but we're not dealing with the adjacent sides from the triangle, so therefore we're not going to use them, and, and we're going to ignore them. Alright, so let's go ahead and use sine and work out our missing sides. Okay, so theta is equal to 40 degrees, so I can say that sine 40 degrees is equal to the opposite side, so the opposite side is x, and the hypotenuse is 10. Okay, my job is to work out what x is, so what I need to do is take, take the 10 to the other side. Here I've got divide by 10, so if I take the divide by 10 to the other side, it becomes multiply, multiply by 10. So I'm going to have sine 40 times 10 is equal to x. And now you need to take your scientific calculator and type in the numbers that you have here and work out your answer. So let's do this. So type sine 40 times 10, enter, and it gives you 6.427. So x is equal to 6.427. Now the question asked me to write uh, the answer to three significant figures. So to three significant figures means that I'm going to count uh, three numbers uh, that are non-zero. So starting from this, that's one, two, three. So I'm going to look at the two, and next to the two I've got seven, so that makes it 27. And 27 rounded to the nearest 10 becomes 30, so I get 6.427. Three. There's my answer. So x is equal to 6.43 centimeters. Okay.